Hey guys and uh, welcome to another video on this channel. Uh, I know it's late, but um, I'm going to do my play ratings from Saturday. Pompey and Peterborough, as you know, we won 2 0 Pittman twice. And I'll s start with the goalkeeper, Alex Bass. Didn't really have much to do, but when he did have something to do, he did it well. He, he didn't concede to have 10 out of 10 for Alex Bass. Nathan Thompson at right back. I love Nathan Thompson, but he kept giving the ball away in that game. He made some all right moves. Five out of ten. He, yeah, six out of ten. Yeah, six out of ten for Nathan. Matt Clark. He was good. Yeah, he was good. Yeah, I'll give him an eight. An eight out of ten. Burgess, best centre back of the game. Crucial in the game. At the start of the game, he looked a bit shaky. He didn't do much wrong, so a ten out of ten. And he got out of the match as well, so yeah. Brandon Hornstrop. He was he was brilliant. He was amazing. He yeah, he was he, he didn't really do anything wrong in the game. He did everything that he had to do right. He was in the right positions, he worked stuff off. Nine out of ten. Who else? Stuart O'Keefe. He was yeah, he was good. Yeah, he was he didn't really he wasn't outstanding. Probably give him a 7 out of 10. It wasn't outstanding. Whatever he did, he did quite well. So, you know, I, I can't really give him any more than the 7. Because he, I, I just can't really. Gareth Evans. Well, I know the game was on Saturday, but what I was, he was quite quiet. And a 7 out of 10 for Gareth again. I don't need to explain myself again. Close. Give him an 8. He was good. He was lively as well, and he, he, he performs like he always does and like he always has this season. Ben Close, 9 out of 10 for Ben. Naismith, I'm pretty sure he's left the club now this week, but, well, it was his last performance, and why would we let go of Naismith? What a player he's been for us, and good luck in the future, but 10 out of 10 for Cole Naismith. Fantastic. He... Like he always is, he's always fantastic. So underrated, you get so much criticism. But and oh, Jamal, Jamal Lowe. Ten out of ten for Jamal. He was brilliant. He provided Pittman with an assist, and he was he just performs as he always does. Brett Pittman, ten out of ten, scored twice, nearly scored again. Brett just he just had a great game. Substitutes now. We only had one sub come on, and that was Massey Kennedy. Kennedy, 5 out of 10, he wasn't really on that long. I'll just double check how long he was on for. He was on for, he can't, nah, I've got to say 5. He didn't really do much. He did good passing. He didn't do anything wrong, but wasn't on enough to make an impact. But this video is not just for the play ratings. Um, as you might know, at Frant Park today, having a Waterlooville versus Porchester Cup final, which me and my friend Callum will be going to, and I'll be vlogging that game. Big game for Haven. As you know, they're promoted um, to the National South. So, no, not that. They won the National South, and they're a league off League 2 in the conference. But this player may... This, <laughs> this channel may be called PFC Vlogs, but it's... Also, as you know, I, there's three teams that I love, absolutely love. Pompey, Tottenham and having a Waterlooville. Pompey, of course, my first, no hard to tell. But, you know, they all could provide content to this. If I'm talking about something that we talking about, either Premier League transfer news or about Pompey, mainly about Pompey, I'll be vlog got a season team with Pompey and renewing it. So when a new season comes, I'll be vlogging most games I'll go to, hopefully every game that I'll go to. And... Some away games as well. But, yeah, I want to talk about the Naismith situation. I'm just, hold on a minute, guys. I'm just checking if he has left. He 
Yeah, he's left. Yeah, he's left. Uh, good luck for the future, Cole. Uh, he's starting again. There's just crucial players. Sleeve. Like in January. Cole Bennett left, didn't he? We shouldn't have sold him. Curtis Main. We got in some quality players, but... Uh, why would you let go of Naismith? It's just, I, I know they couldn't come to an agreement, but... It is, I'm not saying it's their fault, but it's the fans that criticise. It, uh, it, it, it just confuses me, because the fans are get Some get really annoyed at Naismith when, if he's having a bad game, when there's plenty of other players who have bad games, and we need to stop getting so annoyed with some players. Like, what happened with Tolbert, because that was just out of, that was out of order. I love Pompey fans. We're the best fans ever in the world, and it always will be. But what happened when Drew Tolbert was wrong? We should never. He should never have left. We should never. If he if we didn't treat him like that, he wouldn't have left. That was ridiculous. That was that was out of order for our own player. Ha, right. How are you supposed to in that game against Oldham where he made a few mistakes? He accidentally knocked out Nathan Thompson. I wasn't at that game, but I heard he think it was a collision. The fans got angry. How can you? Jacket should have subbed him off them. Because he's not going to be concentrating if he's not one of his own teammates out, is he? And then that just that ruined his game. And it was an accident, but it ruined his Pompey career. He came on against Northampton in the Ticker Trade Trophy, and he was on for quite a few minutes. I remember him coming on, and I was clapping him. A lot of people booing him. I was like, why are you booing him? He was lively. He was good. He's a good player. Going to miss him a lot. A lot of key players as well in the summer left Gary Roberts I can understand because Roberts is he's getting older a bit now so, same with Noel Hunt as well but Cole Baker I know he's getting older but he's class we got Baker was just ridiculous other players the Calvin Davis as well we sh I don't think we should have released he was a good player Tom Davis, I think he he wasn't. Tom Davis wasn't a Pompey player. Calvin Davis definitely was. So we released Liam O'Brien as well. I think that was the first the first um player we sold in the transfer window. To be fair, it's it's paid off because we got McGee. <laughs> we had Henderson for one game, and we had Bass. But we haven't really had a problem with goalkeeper in injuries at all, except from Henderson, and that was it. That's a, you know, we that was about it. We sold Stevens, but we couldn't really do anything about that. I <laughs> he left for Sheffield United, and I was thinking, should he have one season in League One? Is he getting a bit too big for his boots here? But he had a great season in the Championship, and. <laughs> he's proven me wrong. I don't know whether he's proven everyone wrong, but he's certainly proven me wrong because he was great in the champ championship. I can't moan and say he wasn't. Not at all. It's fantastic. Um, <sighs> right backs. The. Yeah, it was, it was a good season, you know. We had a good season. I was worried we were gonna go down. I'll be honest. Net. We were very worried that we were gonna go down. But now, as on the same video, I'll do. Um, I, it was just, it was a, it was a season. We bottled it a bit. It was a good season. You know, I, I can't say it was a good season, but we bottled it at the end. And that ruins it for me. Well, we, That's the thing when you overachieve. You, you get overachieved and you expect too much. And that's what's happened to me and that's what happened to other Pompey fans. <laughs> but, you know, we, we've done ourselves proud this season. Just got to 
If we don't get promoted next season, then we, we can't say we've overachieved if we got seventh or something, because that's still not playoffs. But I'll see you later. I will do a video of the Premier League, of the League One predictions soon. And then it's a big game. Having a poor test of vlog. See you later, guys. Play up, Pompey.